Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be doing Destiny 2. Now, if you guys know, uh, the Hunter Revenant got introduced, what was it, yesterday? And for unfortunately, I was out of town because it was my birthday and it was great. But let's look at the Hunter real quick. He has a lot of cool things. So Hunter Revenant, Revenant Revenants are a worthy ally in, in any battle. Summon the storm, use it for cover, lure enemies inside, then unleash devastation. Deadly Edge. Upon impact, the first blade shatters and sends out a wave of stasis energy that freezes an, any enemies in the surrounding area. Stasis Storm. The second blade hits and creates a violent stasis storm that owns in on nearby enemies, slowing, damaging, and eventually freezing them. So, if you guys don't know, the, the super is called Silence and Squall, chan channeling stasis shards towards them, revenants from combo blades and use them form combo blades and use them to unleash a lethal two-pronged attack so unfortunately we do not have a duration based super it's more of a kind of like shards or not shards uh what the fuck is that super called the way of a thousand blades i think it's called the super that one uh blade brush there we go it's essentially like that it's two waves of basically two comma blades so you throw the first one which basically freezes everyone in the area and then the second one does like an aoe plus uh tick damage so that's pretty cool if you if you hear that i'm kind of sad it's because i was hoping that we could use the blade that's like kind of like the the middle tree void for for hunters i was hoping we could get something like that but better <laughs> But unfortunately, we did, we don't. Not saying the super is bad. If anything, it's probably going to be really fucking good. It's just that I was hoping for, you know, a duration based. So, welcome to this edition in our series of Stasis Spotlight articles where we're examining Stasis via each of the three Guardian classes in Destiny 2. Earlier in the series, we featured the Warlock, Shadebinder, and the Titan Behemoth. In this final article of the series, we're focusing on the Hunter Revenant. Find the fantasy. One of the most important parts of developing stasis and its accompanying guardian subclasses has been in defining each of their fantasies. The team has spent a great deal of time iterating each subclass starting with the fantasy that instantly summarizes the experience. In some cases that comes with ease, for example the fantasy shorthand for the warlock shadebinder was established early on as ice wizard. From that simple phrase anyone could instantly conjure the image in their mind that of what oh my god of what it would be like to play as a stasis powered warlock in beyond light summoning your stasis staff and unleashing dark energy to freeze opponents other times the fantasy evolves around the course of many discussions iterations and play tests that was the case with the hunter revenant subclass which went through iterations before we aligned on the ninja archetype the result is an amazing stasis experience that we can wait for hunter we can't wait for hunter fans to try for themselves that's pretty cool i guess basically, basically we're ninjas duh so early on we knew that the hunter would embody the idea of slowing the battle around them with their stasis powers that starts with withering blade the hunter ooh, withering blade the hunter's revenant melee attack the player throws a deadly stasis shuriken into the fight. It ricochets off surf surfaces and enemies, slowing and damaging them along the way. Land two shurikens on the same target and that enemy will be instantly frozen. When fully charged with ability energy, the Hunter Revenant can unleash their deadly super, Silence and Squall, named after the pair of comma blades that the Hunter summons. This super involves a two prompt attack with each comma blade having a different function. The first blade when thrown immediately detonates on impact, freezing enemies in a radius from the center of the blast. Hurl Squall the second blade and it will embed itself in a surface or an enemy then and then it dead and then detonate creating a stasis storm that will track nearby enemies slowing and damaging them as it makes contact. So here's some few pictures. Uh, I think the blades look really cool. Uh, I would have loved it if it was more of a chain and sickle. Uh, if you guys don't know, that's basically 
what ninjas used back in the day. At least that's what I've heard. Uh, but Chain and Sickle would have been way cooler because that way it could have been a, a duration based super. So imagine like you can throw your chain, which is usually connected to like this big ass ball. It would have been cool if you could throw the chain ball to basically act as one of the powers. And then your sickle could have been your melee. I don't know. That that would have been me personally, but whatever. What the fuck do I know? As is the case with the Warlock Shadebinder and the Titan Behemoth, players using the Hunter Revenant will also be able to customize their stasis powers over time using aspect and fragment slots. Check out our Warlock Shadebinder article for more detail on how aspects and fragments work, including, for example, a Hunter specific slow dodge aspect that will allow the Revenant to temporarily slow nearby enemies each time they perform a dodge. So, that one is called. Where is it? I know I saw it somewhere. Oh, I guess I don't have it. Well, here is, I was so right. I am so happy. I was super right about this. So if you guys don't know the, the like dive that hunters do with their blade is actually part of an aspect. So you can customize that. If you want the dive, you can get it. If not, then you don't need it. I'm really happy that we're essentially getting like really customization options to the point where we can customize our like side abilities it's really cool so if you guys don't know shatter dive activate while midair to quickly descend and shatter nearby nearby targets on impact this is really cool i'm really excited to f like actually go out to the world and find aspects and fragments so that's fucking awesome and then whisper of hedrons gain bonus bo uh, gain bonus to weapon damage after freezing a target with stasis negative t uh, 10 on strength but on hunter's strength is not the most important thing to be quite honest especially since we with uh gambler's dodge we can just get our melee back so that's actually a really good one in my opinion and we see a bunch more other fragments as well i i am thoroughly excited for this so that's pretty much it for the hunter uh i'm liking the hunter stuff a lot i think most of it is really cool again i'm kind of bummed out that our super is not duration based it's just another like quick super and i i much prefer supers that are like duration based but i think this one's dope enough for me to like really not care about it but if they were going for ninja, I would have, dude, you should have done chain and sickle. Uh, there's so many like shinobi weapons that the commas, I was like, ah, uh, okay, I, I see it. Like, okay. So that's just my opinion about that. So before I end the video, they actually do show us the grenades, so the different grenades. And obviously we've seen a bit of it here and there, but I'm gonna read you some of them. Apart from the intrinsic stasis abilities that will be part of each subclass, all Guardian classes using stasis will have their choice of, of a variety of stasis grenades to use in combat. So, Glacier Grenade, upon contact with the ground, a wall of stasis crystals instantly bursts from the earth and nearby enemies are frozen inside stasis crystals. These grenades have multiple uses from encasing enemies to creating cover. When destroyed the crystals will create aoe burst damage to nearby enemies so this is actually really cool uh so it is actually an offensive type of weapon as well if you directly land it on the enemies or if you destroy the crystals as well so that's really cool i was hoping that they would have some damage anything because i was really not looking forward to having these weapons these, these grenades just be like oh there's just the wall there you go so thankfully they do have some damage aspect Cold Snap Grenade. Upon impact with the ground or an enemy, this grenade unleashes a wave of stasis energy that races along the ground in the direction of the closest nearby enemy, freezing them and then searching out the next nearby foe. You can freeze up to three enemies with a single Cold Snap Grenade. That's cool. It kind of sounds like the Hunter's uh, Arc Grenade where you throw it on the ground and like, a f like other grenades come out and search for enemies. It sounds like that, but like better. Hopefully, because I don't like that grenade. So hopefully Cold Snap is good. I haven't seen it. Actually, it might have been the the Warlock grenade that 
they did. I think it's a good like I'll have the video up right now anyways. So dusk field grenades create powerful stasis fields that suck enemies into them when forming. Once an enemy is caught inside, they will be slowed and if unable to make it out in time, freeze frozen in place. Huh. So if you don't get out of the dusk field grenade in time, you're frozen. My only question is if it's if they hit you point blank right in the middle of the grenade, is there like no way to escape it? Because if there is a way to escape it, then the grenade really isn't that much of a issue unless you use it like strategically to like let's say let's say an enemy you're I'm talking PvP of course, but let's say you're shooting an enemy and you're about to kill them, but you know they're gonna run for some reason, throw their grenade slow them down enough you can kill them uh, i can see this grenade being useful i guess uh that's definitely not how that worked in the in the videos that i've saw i've seen it just kind of looked like it almost instantly froze them not instantly but like you they throw the grenade they had like three not even three like 1.5 seconds to react to it and then they froze but whatever i haven't seen the videos in a while so while i'm editing i'll see and then i'll have like I don't know some text to say whether or not it's the same or not all three of these grenade abilities show the potential of stasis to change the way you fight and beyond like slowing and freezing enemies have obvious advantages and we put a lot of effort into thinking about how stasis affects combat in both pve and pvp situations including things like how you how often you can freeze a foe and how long those freezing durations last the ability to create new geometry with stasis is also a new exciting addition. With a well-timed glacier grenade, you can now create stasis crystal formations that can perform double duty as platforms. Players are going to use this new power, be it in the form of a grenade or a super, to gain easier access to tough to reach areas, create new lines of sight, and even do things that we can never predict. Wielding stasis is going to be an unprecedented change to Destiny 2. This is a new take on elemental power where the path to victory is found through controlling the enemy and the pace of the fight instead of through brute force and damage. With aspects and fragments, we're also giving players a new level of control over how they customize their stasis experience. For more on stasis, check out our stasis hub page here. So... <clears throat> I honestly don't know how to feel about the whole changes i it from what it seems to me the each class is not getting their own specific grenade we're all getting a homogenized set of grenades which is cool on one hand but just i don't know that aside it's great that stasis is being so customizable to the point where we can change our abilities and i'm really liking that aspect of it uh the grenade thing uh, will bother me for a little bit, but what the fuck ever like with so much customizing in the game I doubt that the grenades gonna bug me that much to be quite honest. I think I'm just nitpicking at that point, but overall I think I Think this is pretty cool. Obviously, I, I've been showing off the hunter revenant uh, Trailer that got introduced yesterday. It's not much different than any of the other things that we've seen But I just wanted to point that out let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the Titan Behemoth, the Warlock Shadebinder, and the Hunter Revenant. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support and I will see you guys later.